I knew the view was going to be good, but every expectation I had, blind it. Right out of the park. Today I am at Dodgers Ferry at a beautiful property called Clifftop on the Park. We're about 40 minutes from Hobart and only about 20 minutes from Hobart Airport. This is a three bedroom, two bathroom, amazing 60s slash 70s retro beach shack complete with surfboards, multiple living spaces, an outdoor bath, massive entertaining deck with fire pit, million dollar views, and this place is on Airbnb for a couple hundred bucks a night. The thing that brought me to this property was the view. You've got this steep, steep dramatic cliff covered in the most beautiful coastal succulents and wildflowers. It's springtime here and they're just starting to bloom. And you've got this amazing beach behind. There's surfers there, they sit there all day. It must be a great break. Is that what you call it? So yeah, the view is what got me and it doesn't disappoint. It is as close to the cliff's edge as you can get. I was gonna film this inside so the audio was better, but I was like, nah, I want you to be able to hear the waves and just get a little feel for how close we are to the beach. As soon as I stepped in the door, I felt like I was on vacation. A lot of places do, but there are so many places that I stay that don't nail the arrival process. And it is such an opportunity to make a massive impact on your guests right at the get-go. As soon as you open the front door, you can hear music. And it was really cool. It was kind of, I mean, I've been in places where music is playing before, but the music was at a pretty decent volume. So I came in, opened the door and I felt like I was arriving at a dinner party or something like that. Instantly brought a smile to my face and I just felt so happy. I felt so relaxed and I felt like whatever I was thinking or feeling before I got here, as soon as you enter through the door of this place, you turn that key and, and hear the music and feel the warmth and see the, the little things, you're gonna instantly feel like you're on holiday. And that's what it's all about. If you can go to a place and spend three days there and feel like you've had a vacation for two weeks because you're so relaxed and the property has nurtured you and given you this amazing experience and that is a powerful thing. Surprising factor about this place which I was not expecting is how luxurious it is. So the main bedroom, you've got this massive beautiful king size bed, custom made timber bed head, beautiful luxe curtains, wall mounted plasma screen, robes, sheepskins, beautiful plants, really nice soft lighting and it's definitely a sanctuary in here. And you know what, I really appreciated the fact that they had a TV on the wall in the bedroom. I don't have a TV in my room where I live, I enjoyed that. Right outside the master bedroom and directly opposite the entrance is what I'm going to call the second bathroom. It's a laundry slash bathroom. There's all these little things that remind me of the kind of age and heritage of the home. Although it's not my home, it gives you this nostalgic feeling being here. It's really nice. second bedroom. Quite a small room but again you've got a double bed in here. Really beautiful linens, rustic bed head, reading lamp, built-in wardrobe to put your stuff in and I'm sure it's just as comfortable as the master. This bathroom is beautiful, really bright, white, big shower and beautiful vanity, nice light and again really beautiful little coastal seaside touches. As you come down the hall to the main living area, this place is just flooded with light, packed with areas to sit, to enjoy. Every single room has ocean views. You've got everything you could ever need to cook with. I think I counted seven or eight charcuterie, like platter boards. There's a ton of birds here. Got like seven or eight charcuterie boards. They have the place stocked with things. Beautiful condiments and sauces and spices and um, 
a heap of stuff to kind of help prepare really nice food. There's marshmallows in the fridge so that you can come out and toast them by the fire. Just behind the dining table, you have a little sun area, a little sitting corner. And I think this is really cool. This is my favorite part of this room. It just looks straight out over the beach. It just draws your eye all the way down the beach and to the hills behind. There's so much to see at this place. You've got a barbecue out here, pot plants galore. The greatest feature of the place, the clifftop patio area. And I really love the stone. I love it. I love the feel of it. I love the sound of it. I think it's just awesome. Incredible view. It's a really big space. And of course, you've got this amazing fire pit. This is where you'll be spending most of your time I'm guessing when you're here. So there's a little gate on this back area. If you open the gate and head through and go around the corner of the property to where the master bedroom is, you'll find a really nice surprise, it's the outdoor bath. If there's one downside to this place, and it's not even really a downside, there is a pedestrian track literally a meter in front of this boundary line just here, right between the cliff and the, this house. There are a couple of options for enjoying the bath. Where he togs, use bubble bath uh, or have a bath at night which is what I did last night it was really cold the water was piping hot it was just amazing so comfortable you can hear the waves crashing you could hear a possum walking around in the tree you can hear the grasses swaying at the foot of the bath it's just magic I know that I'm excited about a property when my voice starts to hurt after I do one of these talking pieces. Big thank you to the owners. I'm going to put it out there. I think this is the Whale Song Shack of the South. I am absolutely just lost for words when it comes to the price for this place and what you get. I think this is incredible. I'll leave all the details in the description down below. One more thing. There is a really friendly little cat here. I named him Stumpy because he doesn't have a tail and he's got a little bit of a stagger but he's so sweet and he's got the cutest little walk when he walks away his little hips at the back he lives over the road and he comes across like three or four times a day so and that was just really fun all right guys that's it thank you for being here i'll see you all soon in another video there's a chance i'm gonna ramble today but i need to not Mic test. Hello, Mike. Can you see me? Yes, you can. Really, hang on. Are we recording? I'm buzzing. I'm buzzing. <laughs> Enough waffling.